update. Well, as we prepare for flash flooding, possibly tonight, one area in northwest Travis County still dealing with the aftermath of flooding several months ago. Recall in mid-September, downpours caused Sandy Creek and Jonestown to flood. And the water's still littered with debris there. KXAN's Angie Bevan's got more on that. But first, Angie, you've got a live look at what's happening right now at Austin Shoal Creek. Good evening, Robert. Yeah, Shoal Creek here in Austin is a good place to watch out for any rising water. Right now, no trouble to speak of yet this evening, but over the past few minutes, the rain has started to pick up a little bit out here. Now, as we prepare for the potential of flash flooding, we wanted to revisit Jonestown. That's a community that is still cleaning up damage from flash flooding that's been nearly four months ago. Just before noon Tuesday in northwest Travis County, the thunder roared and the rain started to settle in. Flash flood warnings have people living along Sandy Creek and Jonestown bracing for severe weather while they're still dealing with what severe weather did months ago. You can still see all the... Um the styrofoam and stuff. Anne Morley's home overlooks the Sandy Creek portion of Lake Travis. Scattered throughout the water are docks, boats, all sorts of debris, potential hazards for anyone on a boat, plus an eyesore. And there's more than what meets the eye. Morley's concerned about rising lake levels. Because there's a lot of stuff under the water out there and I'm just worried if, like the rain today, if it comes up, some of that debris can move. The debris is left behind from downpours in September. Rushing water swept away the Easy Street Marina, taking docks and boats with it. The Lower Colorado River Authority says most displaced property has been removed, but what about what still litters the water? They say residential docks are private property and their owners are responsible for cleaning up the debris from the flash flood. LCRA is working with the city of Jonestown to ensure that the cleanup is done as quickly as possible. Morley says she's also asked Jonestown City Council about what can be done. I'm just concerned that it's not on the radar screen and I would like it to be on the radar screen. This is our home. This is our lake for Austin. We want people enjoying it and not be dangerous. Hoping it gets better before it gets any worse. And LCRA tells us that they do have the authority to enforce a cleanup, but they say before they would take any legal action, they normally do work with the property owner to get any debris cleared out of the water. Reporting live in Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News.